do you deal with that time of the month with van life? Oh, oh it's so fun. You, you know? cry. Just a girl in her van and a video cam. It's Marley, Hannah and me. Hey guys, so today Hannah and I are in a park in our van and we decided we'd go ahead and answer some of your questions. What type of van is Marley? A 1998 GMC Safari. Does it even matter? It's a it's small, a van. crappy van. Hey, don't talk about my child that way. She has gotten us up every single mountain here. Now the cruise control did break and it's overheating. But other than that, Marley has been doing just fine. We love you, please don't break. Oh, and the locks have started wigging out. Okay, shh. Don't be so negative. Just, it's fine. It's fine. What is your mileage on the van? Ugh, are you gonna make us get up to look up the mileage of the van? Hannah, stop being so lazy. I'll look it up later. I got you, fam. Do you miss Justin a lot when you're traveling? Yes, I talk about him a lot. It makes Hannah annoyed. I'm always like, I miss Justin. I wish Justin was here. Oh, Justin went like this. Hey Jessa, do you plan on ever doing any solar panels or anything else like that to your van? Love ya. Love you too. Funny you asked that because literally a few days ago, we got solar panels. You guys know I've been obsessed with the company Jackery and I've been doing a ton of free promotion for them simply because I think their products are incredible. And Hannah was like, why don't you just message the Jackery and ask them to send you some products? So Hannah and I emailed the Jackery and we were like, hey, we're just obsessed with your company. We're basically fangirls. We van life and we make YouTube videos. And they were like, sick bro. Except in different words. And then they sent us solar and a new Jackery. And I have to tell you about these things, guys. So originally I had this small battery, but they hooked me up with the Explorer 500 portable power station. While it's a little bit heavier at 12 and a half pounds, it's still plenty portable and charges all of my laptops and cameras multiple times. This allows me to create content on the road with a lot less stress than I used to have. Plus it has this light that I've actually used more than I expected. And now I get to answer your question. They also hooked me up with solar to charge the battery. So whenever I need energy, I simply Simply just use energy from the sun using the solar panels, hook it up to the Jackery, and then I can save that energy for later, which means I can edit from anywhere that I am. Go over to their Instagram, tell them thank you for sending me stuff because guys, I don't have the money to buy this stuff, but I really, really need it. So tell them thank you for sending it my way. I really appreciated it. Okay, so that was a really long answer to a question. I swear I didn't plant that question, by the way. Someone actually did ask that and I had an answer. What is the hardest challenge slash struggle that you face every day about van life? Bathrooms in the morning. Or if you're in California, you have to buy something every time you want to go to the bathroom. And so I buy a bunch of food that I don't actually want because I need to pee finding a place to sleep at night. When you're on the interstate or you're in the middle of a big city, it's not always apparent where is a safe place to park your car for the night or not. You never know if you're gonna have a knock on your door from the police or if you're gonna have a ticket on your car or if you're just in a shady area. How many times a week do you usually clean Marley? Also, love your videos. Thank you. How many times a week? Let's talk oh, how many times a, a day. day. We usually clean it before bed and then before bed is done, we've already messied it up again. Messied it up? <laughs> yes, messied it up. I would say one to two times a day. Once in the morning, once at night before we go to bed. Yeah. What is your favorite part of living in a van? I would say it's that whenever I get tired of a place, I can just turn the key and leave. Whenever I get bored of something or if I don't like the weather, I'm like, oh, it's cloudy here today. I'm just gonna leave. Not even an odd question, but I'm serious. How do you deal with that time of the month with van life? Oh, oh it's so fun. You, know? you cry. Oh. You cry and then you deal with it. Then you bleed out and then you clean the sheets again and then you cry again and then you get up at five in the morning to try to find a bathroom and you can't. And so you change a tampon in the front seat and hope no one notices. And it just all around sucks balls. And then you put all of the tampons in a bag and then throw that away somewhere and for someone else to deal with it. <laughs> and then they smell. And <laughs> it's just really gross. It's terrible. Being a girl sucks sometimes and this is just part of it. I might do a whole video on that sometime if you guys want it. What are some daily meals you make living in a van? Oh, that's a good question. We try to show them in a lot of the videos. What are some of your favorites? I do? like a simple vegetable stir fry. 
My favorite thing to do would probably be chicken and broccoli alfredo with bacon bits on it. Oh, I changed my mind. That is the best. I like that yeah. one. How long do you go without a shower? I think eight days is the longest we went before we were like, we cannot take this anymore. Let's get out of here. Yeah, eight days is kind of pushing it. But if you do eight days and then you go swimming, eh, you can go a couple more days. Where's the question? I don't know. If you fall and get a spinal by falling out of the van, <laughs> that is going to be the stupidest way to get hurt. Where do you get the water from? Do you buy it or collect it from somewhere? The water fairies come and drop it off at our van every day. It's truly magical. Yeah, we wake up and it's full. Actually, we water. buy it from Amazon and they <laughs> airlift it to us by drone. We only drink water from the top of Mount Everest, so we have to have them fly it personally to us at whatever location we're in. We're rich. Really, really rich. So rich that we live in a van. In all seriousness, this is our water jug. We fill it up all the time. It just chills here in our van. We can use it for cooking. We usually don't use it for drinking. We usually fill it up in Safeways or other stores like that. They have a water machine that's actually 39 cents a gallon. Otherwise, we just use free spigots at like national parks and things. Whenever an opportunity arises to fill it, we'll use it if we're visiting a friend. But we have in multiple occasions bought our water. What is the worst part about sharing Marley? Hannah's farts! Jess's farts. Hannah's farts. Jess's farts. Hannah's farts. Both of our farts are terrible. <laughs> and in a small space, it's just terrible. And we both get really annoyed at each other's farts, but it's like, what are you gonna do? Because it's like an equality of, of fart annoyance, I think. Sometimes we'll both just like, if Hannah farts, then I'll just make it even by farting, and then we both feel better, and we're both mad at each other. We each have our own little tiny window as well, so sometimes when we have these fights, Fart battles. Um, I'll just put my face next to this window screen and get some fresh air. When a person is being a little bit messier than another, it can make it difficult. When a person, <laughs> not naming any names here, I would like that to be known. You know, I don't want to like bring anyone down. So you get annoyed when you're messier than me. Is that what it is? I'm annoyed when you're messier than me, and then I can't get to my stuff. Love you. Get off me. Love you so much. I oh, will kill you. I love you. You're so great. I love you. <laughs> All right, touch I'm, me. Answering, I'm answering the next question like this because my neck hurts. Do you have any goals planned when you start driving? And how do you decide where to go? Or do you just wing it? Oh, I like this question. May I answer? Yeah. I planned it sometimes. So Hannah and I have different jobs in the van. My job is to film and document everything and edit everything. Hannah's job is to plan everything that we're doing. She likes to plan where we're going, when we're driving, things like that. I take care of where we're going to sleep generally. I take care of figuring out what activities are where we're going. It's a little bit of a combination between looking up popular tourist areas as well as trying to figure out some things that maybe the locals do. We also had a big general plan before we left on this trip. While we are winging it day to day we generally have a plan we started in Missouri hit Southern California and now we're going north into Canada and we're just making a big box because we're gonna go over to Alberta and then back down into Missouri how much do you miss your sister Bethany while on the road oh Bethany you are the golden ground that I walk on my feet rejoice when they touch the gold pavement I got it we are so tired. Can you tell? We're so slap happy. <laughs> Bethany, we miss you. We miss you. Come live in another van with us. Don't try to fit three people we in this van. We can't fit three people in this van, especially Bethany who elbows people in their sleep. All right, so this one had seven thumbs up. People do not stop asking this question. How do you take a shower? You just don't take a shower. No. Hannah. Well, we obviously don't take showers in the van. Obviously not. We personally don't like paying for showers because you can pay for showers at truck stops. A lot of towns that have laundry mats will have showers. We'll be paying like six to seven bucks a shower. Anytime we go rock climbing, we just pay to rock climb and then we can just shower afterwards. We literally went to the climbing gym yesterday and this was the shower facility. And inside the shower, they even had soap and shampoo and conditioner. Usually they have free Wi-Fi too. So it's like our day to get everything uploaded to YouTube climb and take a shower in one day. But there is no denying that you'll probably take less showers while living in a van than you would being in a house. It's for inevitable. Sure. All right, J-Fam, that's all the questions for today. If you have a question that hasn't been answered, go ahead and leave it in the comment section down below. Subscribe, subscribe! We're gonna go to bed, because we're tired. Bye! We can't get the van unlocked. The locks are not working.
Why? Hand up, we're stuck forever. I got it. If all that breaks on Marley is the locks, that's okay. As long as it's not the transmission or the engine. 